Okay, it looks like I am not able to share both the screen instructions and the visual of me demonstrating the practice. So I'm just going to share this visual. This is from Stacy Haynes from Embody Labs Integrated Somatic Trauma Therapy Program. You can also check out her work at Generative Somatics. And basically what I'm about to demonstrate is called the somatic principle of blending. So Stacy was talking about how this various survival strategies we acquire, um, where we go into fight, flight, freeze, appease, <clears throat> the system has also learned to attempt to fight those practices, to judge them as wrong. And we can get into a um, resistance or a adversarial relationship with them. So this is a this is a practice of being able to sit with sensations, and it's just something for you to notice what's happening in your body when you try this out. So the first step for this is to make a fist <clears throat> with one hand. It doesn't matter which hand, um, but you want to imagine that this fist is that there's some oomph behind it, that it is trying to take care of something. So it is holding and caring for something within that fist. And then with your other hand, try to pry open the first fist. And with that is like this idea of we're tired of it being in a fist. We want it to change. We just want it to stop. So you're, you're prying it open. And you're feeling what it feels like in the fist as your other hand pries it open. What it feels like in your body. What happens to your breathing. What happens, um, you know, do you feel any physical sensations shifting? And then what does it feel like in terms of the relationship between the two hands? And then you sort of notice that and write it down. And then the second phase of this is you make the fist again, again, remembering that you're, you're really protecting something with this fist and you're really trying to take care of something. And this time with your other hand, you're going to get really present. It's like this hand is like a spotlight of attention or simple presence, and it has some curiosity to it. It's not really, there's no agenda here. You're not trying to pry the fist open anymore. You're simply bringing this other hand to support the first fist. And you might feel what's the direction that the closed fist is, is going? Like, how is it pointing? How do the muscles feel? And with this other hand, you're gently supporting that first fist. And you can check in. Maybe it wants firmer support. Maybe it wants softer support. The basic idea is you're just holding or supporting or going in alignment in the same direction of support as that closed fist. It's kind of like you're befriending that closed fist. And again, you just feel what happens in the body. You notice any differences in breathing any changes in the feeling of the closed fist. Notice the sensations of the hand that's gently supporting it. And notice any differences in the quality of relationship between the two hands. And that's the activity. Thank you.